Welcome to Low Vision Chef. Today I want to talk to you about my favorite little device, which is called a palm peeler. And I call it my ring sometimes in the video because it fits like on my, on my finger just like a ring. And it stays there when I'm peeling. And it's very handy because it, you can peel just about anything with it. And you can feel as you come along behind it with your pinky or with your thumb to uh, check, depending on which direction you're going, whether the peel is gone and kind of guide the peelers to where it goes, which is different than other peelers that I've used where I end up flicking them across the floor. So I'm going to take an apple and feeling the top to the bottom here. I'm going to start at the very top and I'm just going to go around. And you'll see how easily that it peels. Just going around in a circle and then I can kind of feel as I come behind myself to check and see if that peel is gone. Guiding myself with my thumb doesn't take much pressure at all because it's got a nice blade on it. Just go around and around and around until your peel is gone. Then you have to go back and check again. Now with the apple, um, whenever you can't see, you want to be feeling it as well. So you want to feel the check and see if your peeling is gone, but you also want to check and feel for bruises. Because a bruise is going to feel like kind of rough and a little bit like a, a little softer. So if you feel a bruise and you want to go back and you want to take it off. It's going to actually start, it'll actually kind of gap, catch at your peeler. And then I'm going to go across the top. The bruise will catch your peeler a little bit and keep it from going so smoothly. So you'll know that you've got a bruise there. There you go. So it's nice and clean. Then after that, I take my tomato core, which has a little bit of an edge on the stainless to give it a little bit more cutting power, but it's not sharp enough to really cut. cut. It'll cut through a soft apple. You just take it in a round circular mo motion, and you can take, depending on the size of the apple, you can take the core out at the end of it if you want to like use it for uh, making a pie or something. Uh, to put as a fruit in a compote or something. You can take that out in a couple steps. And then you can kind of go behind yourself with your thumb and see that it's gone. Because you can feel if that uh, piece of stem is gone or if the seeds are, are there or not. Then you want to take, using the same method as, as we talked about before, and go up the side and find the middle. And using the bridge method, go down and cut your apple in half. Okay. Slap it down, bridge method again, and push it in half. Same thing again, using the bridge method, and push it in half. Now you know the end to end because that's where you took the notches out with the, with the uh, core. And then you want to just take your core after you have your apple quartered, and then just pop those seeds right out of the middle. You can feel if you've got some rough seeds still there. And you just go through that process over and over, whether you want to just eat this apple because you don't like the peels, or if you want to do this for a compote, like I said, or a pie. So then I want to take these, and then I'll cut in whatever shape I need, and I'm going to set them off to the side. Now I just want to make a note to you on the cutting boards that we use. I'm using the cutting board, which typically is used for fish, but for someone who can't see, I'm going to use this cutting board to offset the white or the orange to offset my broccoli and my different colors. Now traditionally, the blue is for seafood, the yellow is for poultry, the red is for meat. But this doesn't work well for someone with low vision. We just have to remember which ones we use for what. I use the green for my meat. Just use your memory like you do for everything else. Where your footstool is so you don't trip over it and so on and so forth. We just have to do things a little bit different to accommodate our handicap. So for broccoli, I'm going to pull forward here. You just take a hold of your head of the broccoli after you've washed it, and you want to take the rough edges off the stem. So you just go down the sides of it with your peeler till you take and feel you've got all the roughness off your stem. And then you can cut that up and use it for whatever you want because that's some of the most nutritious part of the broccoli, so you want to make sure that you use that. Another thing is zucchini. I'm going to take the stub of the zucchini to hold on to and 
but <laughs> it makes fun of me for my terminology. This is the stub. Actually, this is the part where you pick it off of. Um, and then you just slide your... There you go. See how nice that feels? The softer the vegetable, the easier it's going to peel. And your peel is going to stay right there. And again, thank you so much for joining us, with, joining us at lowvision.com. And I appreciate it. Have a good day.